Wait, how the hell is he in that car with the windows up? It must be 200 degrees in there. He's got his little... Oh! oh my Because I'm up $40 now. Yeah. Woo! I mean, that was insane. Sick. I got $40 on Sean. Formula D and then he ended up here. So, this is an Aussie Land car. This is, what is this thing called? A Holden? It's a Ford. It's a Ford? Is it really? It's a Ford Falcon. A Ford Falcon? Okay, a Ford Falcon pickup. Um, I don't know what to say about it except it's a right hand drive pickup car. Um, it has a sequential transmission that goes forward and back, which is pretty rad. What else is cool about this car, Josh? Come on, tell us. Wait, isn't that the one that you helped build in Australia? No, that's my other one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we worked on the nice one. Oh. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> All right, so it's a sequential transmission. I don't know if we've ever had a sequential transmission at our events. Um, probably because he's the richest person we've ever had at one of our events. Um, it's a thousand horsepower V8, is that correct? Correct. How many uh, Australian kilowatts or whatever is that? Not gigawatts. What's a kilowatt? I think like maybe seven or hundred kilowatts. Is it kilowatts? Yeah, I, I work at most power, I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, what else can you show us? Is this an original windshield or is it a fancy fancy windshield? Uh, it's a heated windshield for a supercar. It's a heated windshield? Wait. Why do you heat them? Something. For fog. Wait, what? So you have to run like fog X and stuff like that. They've got terrible... Do you have a heated steering wheel? When it starts no. raining, it doesn't fog up. What? That's so crazy. It has tariffs, yeah. so if it gets damaged, you just tear it for life. Okay. <laughs> so is it glass or plastic? It's glass. We have to run glass. Look, he's ricer. He's got carbon fiber uh, roll bar. Oh my god, his foot plate has his initials in it. That's baller. race car things to spend money on and just started like making up things to spend money on. What's this? I wish my GT was this dirty. Oh, my girlfriend. Oh, this is interesting, Sai. Look at this foot plate. 
He has an extra foot plate thing in there. So right before Atlanta, we had the trash at balance. Yeah, it's a foot plate for the passengers so they can put their feet on it. Yeah. Very cool. Why'd you choose a uh, sport you? Uh, a little bit different. It's fun to bring over something different that Americans haven't seen before and yeah. show how we do it down under. But you had this uh, platform before. Like you chose this specifically years yeah. ago. Yep. Is there some type of like inherent good thing about it because it's a pickup really? bed? Yeah. Uh, you can put a jet ski in the back or a dirt bike or a, a radiator. <laughs> but do you actually do that yeah. in your drift car? <laughs> we put a radiator and a dry stuff in there now. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go watch you drive in a bit. High five. Oh, damn it. Do it again. <laughs> Alright. Wait, you forgot to right. mention this whole wait. thing is carved in. Si. You forgot to mention this whole thing is carved in. This is the, uh, wait. The tries carbon drift to No, this is the fake intro. Fake intro to round four is Rich Kids of Lone Star Drift. The Josh Robinson edition. But let's go do the David Mesker edition. Come on, Andy. Show us, uh... Oh, is it close by? Yeah. All right, so this is a uh, this is what a rich person's um, tow rig looks like, and that's what a richer person's tow rig looks like. Come on, show it to us real fast. Come on. He's laughing, but he knows. <laughs> hey, David. Come on, he thought it was the torch. Uh, come on. So first of all, the trailer has living quarters, a stacker for both cars, and then they brought their little trailer because he said he didn't want to get the inside of this dirty. So he's not ready to get it dirty because it needs to get detailed. Let's go look. It has wood floors. That's pretty baller. Let's see here. Oh man, they brought their own tire machine on top of authentic wood floors. These are real wood floors. What kind are these? This is like recovered wood. Come on, keep filming. This is like recovered wood from like an old farmhouse or something that's beautiful. They have a lift in here and stuff, so you can put a car up. Oh wait, can you really get two cars in here? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. How do you get the time machine down? This thing really does have fucking wood floors. Yeah. What's up here? Anything cool? Oh, living quarters. You've got your couch. That's not a very nice couch. I expected better. Well, we just got this. So. It's carpeted inside. Oh, it's air conditioned. That's nice. It is air conditioned because Texas is hot. Also, the truck came with its own driver and mechanic. Actually, David drives it better than I do. <laughs> All right. And then, and then, on the kicker. Oh, it has a toilet. toilet. Yeah. Because Lone Star Drift always has nasty porta potties. Yeah. Oh. oh no, we have a toilet in here. Yeah, I know. Here. And we will I know you're fancy, you're used to stuff. Yes. And it has a fucking floor mat. Alright, I gotta get back to work. Copy, who needs me? Okay, awesome, thank you. We're about 10 more minutes out. Okay. And all of this stuff, they still bring an S13. <laughs> After all this. They just keep polishing it. Although it does look good. <laughs> All right, let's go to the driver's meeting. Girl, ever since I first saw you on
close ups here. How about super close? Oh, oh, I got a lot of that. That wasn't for me. That, feel good? <laughs> that actually does that? feel really good. Wait. He's like, that yeah. booster is not even working anymore. I got, it was like, nice job. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Where's that? That? At least I brought some I blew it, as usual. Yeah. Pit walk. This is an AE86. This car used to have a 4J, 4AGZE, supercharged car, whatever, and it used to drive in Formula D back in like 2004 and 2005. It now has an SR in it and is back in the Pro-Am events. Um, it's John Yim, he used to drive for Texas uh, back in Formula D way back in the day. What's hilarious is this is now more aggressive of a setup than it was in Formula D for Pro-Am stuff. That's about all I have to say. Let's look at it. It has just a piece of square tubing for the core support. That's kind of cool. Uh, looks like just a red top SR. Is it a red top? It's a red top SR. No, nothing fancy about it. Um, it's got cams in it. Makes about 276 for the wheels. <laughs> Which is like a million in Corolla talk. Yeah. Yesterday, I was in the wet, it's like 600 horsepower. This is cool. Look at this. He has a uh, mid-mount intercooler, so the intercooler is mounted way back underneath the core support instead of being way out here in front. He did put the oil system there so he can run that over first and blow the motor by putting the oil system way out there. <laughs> but he does run a bash bar. What else is cool about this car? The car has a little tiny battery to go with the little tiny lightweight stuff. Um, wiring. Or if I touch that, the car probably catches on fire. The coolest thing, one of the coolest things about the car, electric power steering pump. So, car is off, I can turn the wheels just with my, from the hub while the car is off. Oh, wow. So, it makes it a lot, lot easier when you have to push the, push the car around. That's, that's uh, nice and handy. Then with Corollas, I assume you have to push it around a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly though, this motor's been pretty reliable. I don't know why the cra people crap about SRs. I've had this in the in the car since yeah, 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> since 2014, the motor's been reliable. Just everything else has been fun. He's driven over nine laps in the past three years and surprised about the reliability. That's all the rear end stuff. The factory rear end isn't meant for 276 through the rear. So I kept on bringing, breaking ring and pinions and uh, finally upgraded this uh, this event for, to the super, Celica Super Rear End, which will hold about 400 horsepower. So, so far so good. I haven't broken, like, catastrophically like broken any. Oh, no, I take that back. I broke my windshield yesterday. Yeah? Because the hood popped up. Oh, the dreaded hood pins. Yeah. yeah you gotta, you gotta use those. All right, let's go to the next car. This has a snorkel so we can go through very deep water. So basically, when it rains at our events, he can get through about that much rain before it's a problem by mounting that very, very high. Keeps, you know, water out of the engine. I don't know what to say. Look at this excellent, excellent wiring. I suppose each time he wants to turn the car on, he just connects all these. Oh, and look, the battery's off right now probably too. There's string on the wiring. I don't know what the string's for. I don't know anything about anything here. <laughs> We're looking at your new fresh swap. He also has that roped up. There's a lot of rope on this car. Dude, that was the last thing we had ran out of zip ties. <laughs> More rope here. All right. Yeah, normally people use zip ties, but these dudes use rope. He, he might be the smartest you. person here. Dude, we just yeah. cut it off a backpack, man. That's all I had at the time. I didn't want to run the store. I'll have it all touched up for next event, though. It should look good. Rope. Point out all the bad things. Wait, man. what is this? Point out that it works. Why That's is that there? Take temp sensor. Don't worry about all that. Your air intake sensor roped up. <laughs> yeah, a lot of live touch things. Hi, Colin. You got an exhaust noise. <laughs> so this used to be a VQ car in our series, and they just turned it to V8, and he's uh, looking really good out there right now. All right, what else are we gonna look at? Oh look, over there in the distance, my Mustang is getting worked on, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, let's go make fun of Patrick. So Patrick, we thought was gonna win Texas Street Legal yesterday, but it turns out in the comp, his car started misfiring. 
Why was it misfiring? Nothing was broken. Hold track, hold track. He forgot to put gas in it. So he lost the comp because he forgot to put gas in it. He built an entire car, but forgot to put gas in it. We can run out there and check real quick. Look at how close this fitment is right there. Track is cold. I can't even get the walkie-talkie antenna in between the side skirt because he's running 18s on the front of an S chassis, which is really aggressive. Typically, I even have to cut that to run 17s, um, the inner part of the front bumper. That's actually really aggressive. And I heard he got hit in the pits yesterday. In grid, he got smashed, and now his bumper's messed up. The purple Corolla, the or purple Mustang that just drives into everybody hit him. And now matches the build quality of his hatch. What else? Oh man, let's look at this. This is the muscle car section. They're getting ready for the Mustang battle next round. Woo! Look at that! I don't even know whose pit that is. Oh, it's probably John's. All right. So we have the mullet Camaro and the mullet Mustang. Look at this. Stock steering wheel with a cover. I don't know how I let that through tech. <laughs> he has a turbo V8 Mustang. Turbo V8 Mustang. Hey. I don't even know what this is. Is this a blow through carb? That's fuel injection unit. There's it's a two injectors here and two here. So it's throttle body injection, blows through the throttle body injection turbo setup. Here's the turbo. Exhaust is like two feet long. Oh, I think we're good to go. Track is clear, ready to go. Track is Everything high. looks so foreign to me. I assume this is power steering. Yep. This hey, is weird looking. I think it's connected to the pump. What? Uh, the reservoir is connected to the pump? Yeah. What do you mean? Like this? Is yeah. What? That's weird. That's very weird. Oh. <laughs> that's an American thing. Yeah. That's... Wait, look at this, Cy. He doesn't even have couplers on it. <laughs> yeah. What is this? It's my intercooler. No, this. That's the water vent. Oh my god. He just jams it into the coupler. Oh, yeah. Straight into the water meth jammed, jammed into the coupler. This is wild. Uh, hey. That was. Yeah. That's a weird looking boost con oh it says it on there, boost controller. Yeah, I don't even use it, it's turned down all the way. <laughs> Alright. Five pounds of boost, four hundred and fifty horsepower. Woo! Goes V eight. Cy, did you get a good shot of this? And oh, here's a Homer Simpson reference. Yeah, I know. I just like speed holes. They put speed holes in it. <laughs> what you diddly doing, neighbor? I'm putting speed holes in my car. Makes it go faster. Is that so? Well, gee, maybe the old Flanders mobile could use. <laughs>
stick him up. I got a knife, motherfucker, stick him up. I think this is the event. Everybody's finally not afraid of TMS anymore. Everybody is driving awesome. Even a bunch of the Texas street legal guys are driving really well in like T25 SR cars and like 350Zs and everything else. Um, this has been a fantastic event. I'm having a ton of fun. It is hot inside this car. I'm sweaty, but we're having a good time. Do you agree, Cy? Yeah. All right. Life hack number one. I cut myself on my metal e-brake, so I put a glove on it. I didn't want to put the glove on my hand, so I just put it on here. That was sketchy. You get that? Yeah. Sponsor shout out time. First of all, BC Racing Coilovers. Thank God BC Racing has been supporting grassroots drifting for so long, including our most successful driver, Chelsea Denofa, and keeping him in Formula D forever, and also our grassroots scene and tons of our drivers. And thank you to GK Tech for saving Fielding's ass in the entry of the first um, clip in this video. He absolutely probably was spinning out and huge angle off of GK Tech and the ability to not rip their parts apart because they're well made, kept him together. Thank you both GK Tech and BC Racing. 
<laughs> How do you feel not having to fix anything today? Oh, it's great. I get to go home and just put a new turbo on. <laughs> Better than body, body work. That's true. You can't tell, but this is fake. This is all missing. Real, real type X taillights. And they're broken. Hey, I did my best. It looks good. In like five minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much to all the spectators, all the drivers, all the volunteers, and everyone that helped make this happen, but also specifically to the media guys, Cy Pham and Tyler Capper, and everybody else who donated footage. I really appreciate it. We could be lovers, baby, can't you see? All of the chemistry between us, have you seen us? It's true. Me and you, you catch my eye. I can swear you almost wink as you walk by. I have been waiting for a sign, girl. I ain't blind, girl. I see you and me. It was all.